All right, welcome back. In our previous lecture, we discussed uh, the basics of drug receptor theory about the continuous and uh, dichotomous responses. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the drug receptor theory. This is a part two. Okay, the ligand of the drug binds with the receptor to elicit a response. So let's write this in the form of equation now. So L is the ligand or the drug, okay, and R is the receptor and together they form a ligand receptor complex by the way okay so once they form the ligand receptor complex so the reaction that is going forward the ligand and the receptor they're binding so k on at a constant rate of k on the reaction is going forward at the same time after a certain time these ligand and the receptors and the ligand receptor complex will reach an equilibrium and the reaction will be backward too. That means the, the ligand and the receptor is separate at a rate of K off. Okay, so to form again ligand plus receptor. So let's write an equation for this. So how do you measure, the, how do you, you know, quantify the, the rate at which the ligand receptor complex is forwarding uh, the reaction is going forward with respect to the time. So this is how we write. The difference of ligand receptor complex with respect to time is the concentration of the ligand times the receptor, okay, because K on with which the reaction is going forward, K on minus L times R times K off, okay. But when this reaction reaches equilibrium, that means the, rea the forward reaction and the backward reaction are going at the same rate, then ligand and receptor times K on is equal to ligand receptor complex times K off, right? So when, when this reaction is going, uh, for the forward reaction and the backward reaction are going at the same rate, then the difference then the difference in the formation of ligand receptor complex with respect to the time is zero. Hence, L, L times R times K on, the ligand receptor times K on, the forward reaction is equal to the backward reaction. What are these K ons and K offs, by the way? I want to mention here, what are these K ons and K offs? K on, since K on is the rate at which the reaction is going forward, this is called has association rate constant association rate constant okay and k off k off is the rate at which the drug is dissociating it's called disassociation rate constant it's disassociation rate constant okay now let's re let me rearrange this e l time is equal to lr complex times k off or k on that is dissociation rate constant or association rate constant this term I can replace this term with kd okay kd is nothing but disassociation rate constant at equilibrium don't get confused kd stands for equilibrium disassociation constant okay and KD is equilibrium okay all right so let's rewrite this equation L times R is equal to LR times KD right so what is ligand ligand has your ever drug how do you measure the drug you can measure the drug concentration in the blood sample right in the plasma you can measure okay and what is LR LR is nothing but the ligand receptor complex and how can you measure the ligand receptor complex okay by measuring the response you'll know the ligand receptor complex right so can you measure the response yes we can measure the response if it's a graded response or quantile response we can measure it but what about the receptors is there any possible way to measure all the receptors in is it possible 
Uh, yes, you're right. We cannot measure. It's difficult. So let's find out the alternate way. What? How we can replace this receptors? Okay. As you're aware, the total number of receptors, the unbound receptors, that is R, plus the bound receptors, that is LR complex. Okay. Can we say that? The total number of receptors in the body. Either they are bound or they are unbound. This is the bound one. This is the unbound one. Either way, there are either two receptors will be there. So, in that sense, I can rewrite this equation as R is equal to TR minus LR, right? So, I'm going to TR minus LR. I can just rewrite this like this. Okay. So now I'm going to replace this into this equation. Okay. Into this equation. So let me rewrite this here itself. So ligand times TR minus LR. That is total receptor minus Li. That is uh, bound receptors. Okay. Is equal to LR times KD. Okay. I'm going to rewrite this quickly here. So we can measure the ligand, that is the concentration of the drug, and the LR, that is a bound receptor, it's like the response. Okay, so to find out the TR, what is TR by the way? TR is the total receptors. If the total receptors are completely bound, what will you have? You will have a total response, right? If the total receptors are completely bound with the drug, the drug or ligand, you will have a total response, that is a maximum response you will have. So we can call it as an E max. We can come back to that later. But um, so that's how we can measure the total response. That is a maximum response. So I'm going to rewrite this equation again now. L times T R minus L times L R is equal to L R times K D. Okay. So let's take out the common term. Okay, remember this equation carefully guys. This is a very important equation. We will get back to the equation because this is the equation which we are going to use to linearize. Okay, let's solve this equation now, right now. Uh, minus L times LR is equal to LR times KD, right? So I'm going to rewrite this equation. That is L times TR, okay, is equal to L times LR. I'm just simply adding L times LR on both sides. Okay, plus LR times KD, right? So, if you take a look at this equation, we can uh, rewrite this. Uh, we can, you know, get the common terms outside. So, L times TR is equal to LR is a common term here, right? So, LR times L plus KD, right? So now, TR, L times TR is equal to LR is divided by L plus KD. I just divided on both sides with L plus KD. Okay, and the equation is LR is equal to L times TR, L times TR divided by L plus KD. Let me write this equation in a different way. R is equal to TR times L divided by KD plus L, right? So this is the equation which we have here. I, I just simply uh, rewritten in a different format, okay? So let's compare this equation with the effect and also the protein binding in a, in a different terminology. Right now what we did is binding of the drug and the receptor, but we can apply the same equation for the effect and also for the protein binding. So let's do it for the effect first. Okay, what is LR? LR is nothing but the ligand receptor complex. When the ligand binds with the receptor, then what is the have effect, right? So can we write E has effect? Yes, we can write it. And what about TR? TR is nothing but the total receptors that are bound which elicits a maximum response. So I'm going to rewrite this as E max times L is what? 
L is nothing but the drug. But how are you going to measure the drug? The form of concentration. So I'm going to rewrite this as a form of concentration, right? C. Okay. And KD is what? Some rate constant. KD is equilibrium dissociation rate constant, right? So KD, nothing but potency, guys. So we can rewrite KD as EC50. Okay, EC50. I'm going to explain how we got this EC50 as KD. And L is again a ligand which we measure in the form of concentration. So this is how we got the equation E max times C or EC50 plus C. And same for the protein bounding. Protein bounding PB is the protein bound. So E max instead of E max, we can we will rewrite as B max. That's maximum uh, bound to the protein. And again, we can write as L has ligand, or you can write whatever you want. And here KD is KD, and plus L has a ligand or a drug. Okay, I'm going to stop this.